Ah, karibuni sana na jambo popote ulipo. Kumbuka in the month of 254. Leo tuko wapili kapili katika tumetembea kuna one of the guys mwenye alikuwa anaona anatufuatilia sana kwenye YouTube na akasema pia si tu tuweze kukuja ili aweze kuona kama anaweza kupata msaada. Nikamwambia hapo iko sawa kabisa. As the man talk, we make sure tunafuatilia kabisa na tuna make sure kila mtu anapata usaidizi ile inafaa. So from the horse's mouth, hii ni story ya Michael na ungependa kuisikia. Karibu sana na msikize vizuri. Asante. Hi, I'm Michael Otieno. Uh, I'm the boy who was hosted sometimes here back. Sometimes there back who had sickle cell anemia. And me I'm an orphan. I came from a family of five. I came from a family of five. Mom, dad and my siblings, but unfortunately the all of them they passed. They passed away in an accident. But I, I glorify God. And my story starts at the time my parents, my family passed, passed on. That is where my suffering began. I mean, I'm 18 now, and my, I was left with my parents, my siblings, my family at, at the age of 10 in 2015. They died in an accident where, while they were traveling to Narok. When they were traveling to Narok, they died in an accident. My mom had an asthma attack. She had a disease called asthma. She died in an asthma attack. But she died in an asthma attack because of Nka asthma attack in the Ili Mwekando and she was driving she was the one in the on the wheels and alikuwa na drive na unfortunately akaga So uh, starting from 2015 it's where I went to live with my aunt Ili Mka now 2016 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, Until now, my God gave me a new family. 2023. But in, in period of 2016 to 2022, it's a living pit of life in a hell. Because wali mchukua mara kwanza wakisema they love me, they gave me support, wakansaidia kukumuzisha familia, tukenda ushambo, tukenda nyumbani, but I was still sick there at that time wakaenda nyumbani wakazika wakaanza kugawana mango zangu hapo ndo alianza kunyonyesha fast madharau ndo rafiki ya mama yangu akakuja akanisaidia ku at least kuchukua ngo yenye kidogo because the other the others walikuwa shagawa walikuwa shagawa shajigawia wenyewe lakini za dada zangu my siblings walikuwa wenyewe walikuwa shachukua mimi sasa mimi kabaki na chache zangu ndo zenye never up to date so tukaenda na rock now wakachukua the things wakaniuliza where did my first au marafiki ya mamangu akasema huyu kijana tunataka kumpeleka children's home in Nairobi pale atasaidika akasema no tutaenda mali huyu uh, atenda mali vitu za mama yake ziko na tunaenda na yeye wakanichukua they treat wakan treat vizuri at the first time wakan treat vizuri they loved me nilikuwa nagonjeka on the north alikuwa tuna hiyo heart encouraging bado on and off lakini kuna point wakafika wakaanza kunyonyesha madarao nikienda shule nilikuwa nalia nikiwa mgonji wa nikienda admitiwa mara wanasema atastaki kufanya mtihani sasa kufanya nini 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 nikagonjeka nikitoka shule wanaanza kunyonyesha madarao nikikati nisikae kwa kiti yetu nikae chini sasa so, that peace, that lack of peace lack of love nikaanza kunisumbua nikaanza frequent admission in hospital Narok County so nikaadmitiwa huko nikalala ICUs very many ICUs huko nikaona very many people die nika nika quit kaitwa ad names with some of the patient I was some of the caretakers of the patient have been called have been called so much names that labda nilifanya kitu ama chokora ama nini but i kept persevering on walikuwa wananiletea chakula kidogo kidogo lakini wakakuja wakaacha sasa that time walikuwa tu wanasikia kijana anaendelea jiji kuna this kuna this worker alikuwa anaosha hospital so alikuwa na give them the details about me vile ninaendelea so since there hapo 2017 walikuwa na teseka nikiumwa niki nikiumwa juu nilikuwa na distajiwa naenda after one week kama 3 days ninarudi ward kwanza niko eh, extremely pained 
painful ni ni nimedungwa dawa na nilipatiwa dawa na bado mgonjwa iko jua akashinda sasa atanifanyia nini because this is not normal hata ugonjwa yonyeshi kama imekuwa increased wakaonyesha kama imekuwa increased wakasema this is not normal because it's an environment yenye mtoto anaka haikai malipa pleasant because hapo hizi enda home kesho akuje hapa baada ya 5 days mimi nikawaambia kwa environment yenye niko it's so bad na mimi ningekuwa advice msini discharge if i get nikikuwa hospital please msini discharge hata nikaenda huko bado nitalala in the streets juni tatoka niende na in the streets because i don't have peace of mind msini discharge acha nikae hapa hata nikuwa mzima let this be my home please because hata wakati wa discharge when ule patient ule mtu anasikianga ati na furai mimi naenda nyumbani siko na furaha siko na furaha nafikiria sasa nikienda narudi bado kwa wale wanyama nanisumbua narudi bado kwa ile tu mateso the same same na nikienda bado nitarudi tu hospitali Kenyatta and ya mimi na rock ndarudi tu bado the hospital in Narok nisumbuke tu huko nimedungwa ya kutosha nikachoka kaniambia sasa tutafanyaje akaniambia nikawa nikamwambia because mimi nataka tu kukaa hapa kaa hapa msini discharge please msini discharge nikienda ndo up since there my aunt wakaanza kukuja pole pole because walikuwa shajua madaktari wamejua kwa sababu niko ward kwa nini wakajitenga wakaenda nikakaa hapo nikakaa hapo nikakaa my cus nikakaa hdus nikateseka wakanidunga even one of my kidneys paka saa hii kuna dawa yenye nilikuwa naekwa one of my kidneys in fail it looks like it has failed i'm using one kidney and pia mgu iko na shida so nikakaa hospitali for those years they were in chunga wamekuwa good to me wamenipea dawa doni nilikuwa immunity colon nilikuwa nime lack love nilikuwa nimekosa tumaini nimeteseka kitoka kuna siku ni wakani discharge akasema utaenda kwa nani kawadanganya kwa anko kutoka mimi nikaenda streets kena nikakaa nikalala huko tena nikagonjeka nikaletwa with some nika uh, some Maria Mwema huko nje juni ni collapse nikajikuta kwa ICU tena in Narok nikajikuta kwa ICU tena in Narok nikakaa huko nikakaa nika huko nikaendelea kunazo akanitibu kuna mali wakafika wakasema wacha sasa wa ni refer back to Kenyatta niende Kenyatta When I when I went to Kenyatta there nikakaa kaa tena it was it was about in Kanara County Referral Hospital about 2 years 3 years in that chronology in, in chronology mana nikaenda wakani refer at Kenyatta so Kenyatta ikoenda pia siko na nilipelekwa Bayana ambulance ju siko na mtu akulipeleka nikaenda Bayana ambulance nikaenda nikalimitiwa huko that is where to repatana na those friends of mine who those who had cancer na siko self tukaeka kwa ward moja but mimi sikuwa na watu so pia kinyati kakuwa like a place of mind to stay nilikuwa place of mind to stay nika sasa nikakaa huko nikitibiwa nikitibiwa and, and then kinyata pia wako ni sometimes wako anachukua kama mangso nikateseka huko nikagonjeka nikatibiwa nikadungwa kadungwa mashindano but there's this time i remember me suffering nilikuwa najiendea cho because nilikuwa mgonjwa na sikuwa naweza joint huko ilikuwa imeisha the time ni mtambu ni rotabu came and and aired my story on it was on august 2022 that time i remember that time uh, I, that time came from kuja uh, kunichukua story yangu it was august 2022 hapo ndio my suffering began nilikuwa nimekaa hapo sikuwa na nguo ngo zangu ilikuwa imechafuka siji mali walipeleka with the laundry those wenye wanafanya laundry kachafuka ni not tabu akakuja akachukua story yangu and i didn't i didn't cooperate because i nilikuwa nimeteseka kutosha i had lost hope lakini akachukua nikaongea kenye ninaweza na relative yangu nikasema mali wako tu najua nilikuwa walikuwa ni watoto wako walikuwa ni india nitaua auntie yake vile niliua mamaangu nikaa mimi ndo niliua mamaangu nikasema i will forgive them 
hata nikasema because sasa hii wameamua wameamua kuniacha it's time me to focus on new life juu sasa nikikaa hapo nikiwa kwa hospital bed nikisema kile nime Mungu nimeadaptiwa na relative yangu hiyo nitalia yake kienda nikasema I need to start looking life vile iko ni accept nimeachwa Kenyatta ndio nimeachwa Kenyatta ni kupeke yangu sisi tegemea jua nime angoja wakuja hawajai kuja niko peke yangu na nita accept mali niko na nikaambia Mungu hapa nikitoka sijui mali ninaenda sijui nitafanya nini siwezi rudi jua tanti sijui mali yako sijui mali yako na nikirudi huko hakuna haja hata siwezi kwa advice nirudi huko ndio sitakuwa na peace of mind bado tu nitakuwa hospitali kuliko that efforts ya kuenda hivi tena nirudi hivi nikae hospitali nimekubali hospitali ni nyumbani yangu but i knew it will reach at some point of at, at some point of time doctors they will get tired because hospital is normal pam to cook ni pale pam to anatibiwa na anaenda so aka nilikuwa nimelia palliative care walikuwa na at least wanani manage my me emotionally walikuwa that by the way I take that doctor of palliative sana sana Mungu ambariki amekuwa kini manage pain yangu juu ya uchungu yangu alikuja kugondoa uchungu si ya umwili uchungu ni ya roho ndio inaamsha ugonjwa jugo jangu si ile ilikuwa inakuja ikiamka mara moja hapana ilikuwa nagonjeka kwa sababu the pain i had in heart because um, i thought why am i suffering first wazazi wameaga hiyo miaka yote yenye nimepitia naro hospitali tu on and off hakuna chance yenye niweze kawa shule nikaende nisome like a normal student after na ndio hiyo my my organs zinaanza ku zinaanza ku misbehave na after na ndio niko peke yangu wakasema it will be okay nini nini nimrotabu akawakaniuliza would you like one day to air your story nikasema kama ni, ni, ni kama iko ni sawa ni sawa because me i don't see meaning of life kama miko mimi nitasema tu ni iko i know i won't be helped na niko tu hospitali hata nikisema ndio my relatives watakuwa angry at me but hata kama meniacha ni sawa juu na roxy kwa na mtu na nairobi si hapa si na mtu wakasema sawa and that time ndio ni broad kama akakuja asubuhi usiku wote sikuwa nimelala i had cried I, all along i didn't know what to do na ujua na hiyo kesha yake tulikuwa tunahamishwa tu sasa tunaweka watu siko sana na kansa tuna separate watu kuelekea wards zingine lakini ni broad came and i thank god wherever he is na i hope at us kiai asante mungu mungu akubariki juu you opened ways ataka sikuwa nataka kuongea sikuwa nataka kuongea lakini ni Mungu akubariki and continue doing that work for God to bring that good work because kama sio wewe hapo bado ningekuwa hospitali pale nimeachwa nimegonjeka bado kama sio yeye surely God because the time i remember he had that story hapo ndio watu wakaanza kujitafuta that time nilikuwa nimedistajiwa hata nilikuwa nimedistajiwa watu wakakuja kinyata wakanikosa because niliishi huko wageni wakikuja wakati ni, wakati alinihoja akaenda sasa nikabaki peke yangu so nikaanza nikaanzisha sasa tena kufanyishwa mazoezi nikaanza kutembea na kiti kama hii lakini plastic nika plastic ndio crutches kwa nimeletewa crutches social worker kwa na jamaa ali watatoa and it's a process because kinyata is a big hospital like na rock county crutches tapata haraka So nilikuwa tunatembea na kiti ya plastic hiyo ndo nilikuwa natembea na move around na a certain dress ya KNH sikuwa na long nilikuwa na certain dress na ina wewe ndo nilikuwa nimevaa sasa yeye nafunga kamba ikifunga kamba na vaa mbili moja ni kama nguo ya kunifunika na hiyo ingine ni kama jumper like to me so wageni wakikuja because of that feeling nisikae hapa ni sikio chungu na jikokota na hiyo kiti many people huko Kenyatta walikuwa wananiangalia hadi manasi wengine sasa wamepiga kusema nilikuwa na kuona lift na kiti kumbe ulikuwa unaenda kanisa nikamwambia eh nilikuwa mnaona i'm like a madman nilikuwa na mkoa mnaniona paka mkoa mnaona mnacheka wengine wanacheka wengine walikuwa wanalifisha na panda lift na kaa kwa kiti lift inaenda ikishafika na chuka mimi naenda kanisa nalia 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 ni kitaimu wageni wakenda mimi natoka natoka na rudi ward na kupea matibabu ngo ngo ndio that was my day my day due to kinich after that so me my suffering suffering wakati sasa nikaambiwa unaenda nyumbani na uncle amesema tukupeleke 
Nikamwambia uko mganda anasema mumpeleke nyumbani akaniambia you are relative. Nikamwambia hapana. Please. Huko mimi I live a bit of hell huko. Please msinipeleke yake. I'm much hata kama nita hata kama nitateseka hapa please. Akaniambia basi tunaona unasumbuka peace of mind unatoka hapa sasa wageni hadi paka watafuta sehemu meze dawa wa huko. Nikamwambia I know ya nataka peace of mind huko nikienda uh, my life would be still miserable bado na rock nitarudi tu zero mna nituma hapa msimeweza nitoa hapa kinyata mpeleke na rock ju bado life yangu sitakuwa tu pale pale ya kumistritio so hapo ndio ikanipea stress nikaanza kuenda there's a time nakumbuka nilienda kanisa nikatoka nikasimama hivi kwa balcony hapo corridor ya kanisa nikajiuliza why why god why bora na safa like this ama ni nini nilifanya some things were hapo sasa ndio suicidal thoughts na kuna na kuje kiniambia you just go and kill yourself yeye anambia hapana sasa ukikufa kama saa hii umeishi hospitali umekuwa hospitali if you die bili yako utatupa watu utajua mali utatupa hiyo kitu ndio ilini hat sana kiniambia nikakati nikasema yeye that's a good point e kama hata there is no reason mimi nijitupe hapa nikijitupa badala badala ya kwenda into a safe 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 full place mali watu wanaenda na wakipumzika nitaenda nitaseke bado nitaenda niongezee matesi yangu labda sitakufa na labda my spirit won't go at peace nitasema tu ni sawa juu stack in issue hospital na stack ni ai hospital na stack Yaani my life in my hospital na nikufe nizikwe bado hospitali nitupwe mali siju. Nikamwambia Mungu bado nikamwambia God please hata kwa hiyo kitabu yenye Nimrod nilimuonyesha. Una point nilimuonyesha this. I want God and pay it hata kani if I was to die like July hata kama ni 3 months or uh, three weeks and pay to nionyesho tu upendo and this good family. Hata ndo niki. Ngia kwa hiyo family ni kwa relate nao nipendwe nifanye nini? nifanye nini nitakunda pato nitaka mali pa kukata nikikufa yeah, i find my my place to stay and i just want to tell kenyans please aki wakujua ni support because one supporting encouragement in anything that they have in anything that they have because in anything that they have because say at money in any cost and that showing love me my main thing is to have because that love no nimekosa in those eight years pakasai those eight years pakasai and that motherly love that brotherly love and i thank god by the way since ni mrod tabu ndo aka mungu aka tumia fungue njia yani tuko akakuja kunihoji then the man talk akakuja kunihoji and i know many blessings and thanks to god because i know many blessings will come through this story and i want to inspire kenyans out there please if you have a mom if you have a mom just cherish hata despite you stoke uko unatoka kwa maisha maskini ya matajiri please mtende hata mimi niliambia Mungu wai mbona umechukua hata kani kwa anakuja kwa family tajiri nipe tu mama maskini fam, ama familia maskini bora wananipenda ju tutakula mawe nitakula mawe pamoja nao ju mtu anaweza niambia sasa inaweza enda into a social media nikisema wao oh, yake msaidieni pesa no money don't want any mtu akitaka ku support and support mali anaweza yes i don't want money because mtanipea utanichangia saa hii 1200 2000 nini nini mani kani kile kina mwanzo kina mwisho lakini mimi najua mwisho wangu ndio hii inakuja i'm experiencing before my end because sickness saa hii ni attack and i thank god nimeungana na this sickle cell warriors group scarf kenya wanisaidia juu nimekaa bila sana na rock nimekaa sana bila kutumia hizo dawa so my organs my organs zangu zilikuwa ni zina try to fight sasa moja ika give up and i know i'm fed so sai 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 taka tiniseme going around asking kenyans please no no i just want this message i just want this message i just want this to show this message to kenyans please sai sai mwenye tu anaweza ni support whatever kenya for now no hata upendo kama una you can come and support and give me that love you know niliomba mungu ndio maana amenifungulia njia zote i didn't know there is a time There's a time I will come and nikae hapa with the man talk nikae hapa with Tuko with I kai hapa na Nimrod Tabu 
that it was a first story to me but we but mbeleza mungu vile aliona niliteseka ikakaa hospitali doctors wakafanya ni i prayed nikakaa nikilia nikifanya nini nikioga hata wao walikuwa wananyosha by the way these sick people patient mali wako ni their souls resting peace but nilikuwa tumepanga tulikuwa tumepanga uh, tukipona tukipona we go and help others peer when you are going to but how they decided to rest and i will be forever grateful hata kama sikuwa rubishia a helping hand kuna huyu mmoja aliniambia kabla ya kufa na nilisema kila video aliniambia Michael I need you to stay strong because of fans who change our offense because when you tumeona wengi wana treat offense na ufai ku treat you hivi wewe sasa uta change na uombe Mungu akufungulie njia you open up and na Mungu akupea opportunity usita usitake opportunity for yourself sasa Mungu amekupia you say this is an opportunity to me sasa ni ask Kenyans for their assistance no mimi nilimwambia uh, nilimwambia mimi nitasema uh, okay I will honor you but you are not dying akaniambia hata kama sitakufa ukipata opportunity ya kwenda on air hiyo hiyo ulavyo nilikuwa naniambia hapo unataka nikupende ufanywe nini hiyo uambie wa Kenya na pia wa change their towards way to orphans orphans no wasaidia wasaidia my team au kuinje wasione ati wasione ati every each and every of and this there's this in story yenye nimesikia nikiendelea kusema each and every orphans that he ofana ki ofan ofana ki akiachwa na timu za zake amekufa na ukimwi no ndo maana wana mistreat no hakuna ofani mwenye amekufa na wazazi wake amekufa na ukimwi mimi my mom died with an, in a regular accident so nashukuru Mungu kwa kunipea this opportunity and I will, and okay and I would like to tell Kenyans please support orphans and hata wale wanyo wako pale kwa streets hata kama usitaki kujua kwa wanafanyishwa biashara wewe wewe toa hiyo tendo yako ama 20 bob kwanza hapo ndo mali ukitoa baraka yako ndio inatoka and i thank Kenyans for their love their support me till now na waendelee kuni support and i thank god for the love mwenye mlinionyesha asante asante at least you have revived my hope and may god bless you and if anyone wants to get me to reach me my numbers are 0741114182 and i repeat 0741114182 once support me in mpesa it will bring peter mugwe and i thank god for everything and may you be blessed yeah from the hostess mode mbeza kusikia story ya michael otieno kumbuka huyu kijana anatuhitaji na tuhitaji kabisa umepata contacts zake wa Kenya please tunasema hii ni the man talk tuongee ili tuweze kusaidika so wa Kenya popote mlipo namba mnayo tutaweza kumsaidia vile vile ataweza kupata usaidizi vile inafaa kabisa in the man talk to all social media handles we andika the man talk 254 utakuwa tupata kwenye Twitter kwenye Facebook hizo zote na kwenye YouTube wewe ingia pale kwenye description kwanza subscribe ingia kwenye description utakuwa na finya pale unaona link yetu ya Telegram unaweza kuwasiliana na sisi na pia kutoa maoni yako ama kuweza kujadiliana na sisi kwa swala yote yenye unataka kusikika the man talk to 54 all the time hadi siku nyingine tuwasema asante sana hiyo ni from the horse's mouth adios <laughs>